Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we discuss about simple cells or galvanic cells. In these cells, simple cells and galvanic cells, we are going to convert electrical energy into chemical reactions. So in these cells, the chemical energy means some chemical reactions are converted into electrical energy. So in these cells, we are going to convert chemical energy produced from chemical reactions that is used to convert into electrical energy. The examples of these cells are in daily life we use a car battery. In this battery six simple cells are attached that produce 12 volt of electric current. Then the dry cell which are used in wall clocks, in toys, in remote and in many other things then fuel cells and we have a lot of examples for simple cells the conditions for simple cells are number one we take two different metals two different metals like zinc is present above in reactivity series and copper present below in reactivity series like lithium and fluorine fluoride ions are below in reactivity series than lithium so we take two different metals and these two metals are dipped in same electrolyte. The second condition, we use same electrolyte, same electrolyte for the metals to place in a solution. And the third one, the electron will move from more active metal to less active metal. Electron move from more active metal which act as a node to less active metal which act as cathode. Now we draw a diagram for simple cells or galvanic cells. In these cells we take electrolytic tank or a beaker, insert two metals of different reactivity. For example, in reactivity series zinc is present above then copper so zinc is more active metal act as a node it will lose electron and less active metal act as cathode and gain electron during the process these electrode insert in electrolytic tank that is zinc and copper these two metals are connected with the help of voltmeter that measure the voltage of electric current now we fill here the electrolyte if we fill sulfuric acid aqueous solutions which act as electrolyte the anode is zinc cathode is copper when they are connected then we observe that electron will move from a node towards cathode mean zinc rod act as a node because it lose electron and copper metal act as cathode as it gain electron and the voltmeter having deflection zero at the start but when electron will flow it shows the direction of flow of electron from zinc to copper it means zinc having negative charge because electrons losing from the zinc and copper having positive charge means copper is positive electrode and zinc is negative electrode from this way electron will flow from zinc to copper and they produce electric current now during the process the reactions are at a node at cathode and then we discuss the overall reaction as well or redox reaction a node is zinc which is in the solid state that losing electron to form zinc ions in aqueous medium by the loss of electron and at cathode here electron enter in cathode surface and electrolyte that contain H positive ion they gain electron 
so H positive ion in aqueous medium from electrolyte they gain electron to form hydrogen atom but it exists in the form of molecular state gaseous form so you have to balance the equation by multiplying with 2 now we are going to add the equations agar aap inhe add kar lete ho reactants ko reactants mein products ko product mein electrons are cancelled you got zinc solid H positive ions in aqueous medium they combine to give zinc ions in aqueous medium and H2 gas so this is the redox reaction proceed during a chemical reaction now if we discuss second example in which we take zinc as anode copper as cathode and electrolyte is copper sulfate aqueous solutions then Zinc is above in reactivity series act as a node it will lose electron to form zinc ions but here solution contain copper ions solution contain copper ions so here at cathode copper ions gain electron to form copper that is copper ions in aqueous solution that gain electron to form copper solid so we write the overall reaction aap in add kar rahe ho to zinc solid then copper ions in aqueous medium that gives you zinc ions and copper solid to ye bachche aapke reactions hain in these reactions we will observe in final equation zinc having zero oxidation state in reactant and become plus 2 on the right side so oxidation take place at zinc and reduction take place at copper because oxidation number of copper decrease from plus 2 to 0 in free state so these are your examples for galvanic cells also named as simple cells 